All eyes on this thing, everyone. I'm Jean Cedric Majigaleha, and we're here to discuss the innovation on flexible, transparent electronics for smart contact lenses against glaucoma disease. Since the advent of the Silicon Age, our electronic devices are limited to having sturdy and rigid components, and so the currently growing interest on flexible and thinner electronics is understandably obvious. We see curved displays on phones and TVs, and thinner and smaller gadgets in the market. And we are moving towards being more frequently and conveniently connected with our devices physically. Researchers even think that incorporating electronics on our bodies can bring more. An example is how the ordinary aesthetical and clinical contact lenses we currently have are being improved to become smart by embedding flexible electronics. Specifically, the team of Salvatore et al. at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology Zurich fabricated a smart contact lens engineered to measure the eye's intraocular pressure. Intraocular pressure is known to be the only modifiable risk factor for glaucoma disease, with higher risk at higher pressure conditions. However, despite being a major cause for irreversible blindness, controlling glaucoma progress is a costly and time-consuming process by which some Filipinos may not have access to. Salvatore et al. proposed a wafer scale methodology to fabricate electronics on an engineered substrate, which is designed to enable the release, the transfer, and the adhesion of electronics onto biological tissues plastic foils, or any shaped rigid or flexible objects. They accomplish this method by micromachining a strain gauge sensor and transparent thin film semiconductors based on amorphous indium gallium zinc oxide and indium tin oxide on a 1 micrometer thick pyrrolein polymer film that is spin coated on polyvinyl acetate and polyvinyl alcohol layers. The electronic membrane can be fished out of water after releasing the pyrrolein film by the dissolution of underlying polyvinyl acetate and polyvinyl alcohol layers. The membrane can be transferred on any surface or support, say a regular contact lens. Characterizing the membrane, they found that introducing maximum strain does not alter the bandwidth of the differential amplifier created using the thin film transistors, making the membrane functional for the smart lens application. Also, they determined that the maximum strain the electronic membrane can withstand makes it a good conforming membrane functional up to a bending radius of 50 micrometers which they confirmed by wrapping the membrane around 50 micrometer thick hair fibers. This is significant for its purpose on biological tissues, especially on the eyes. Lastly, with the embedded strain gauge sensors, the study observed the appropriate response of the membrane to apply the strain for measuring intraocular pressure. Currently, patients monitor the intraocular pressure by regular visits to ophthalmologists to use conventional ocular tonometers. This equipment only measures the pressure at the exact moment of clinic visits and you can over or underestimate the real pressure profile of patients since this pressure fluctuates throughout the day. Meanwhile, commercial smart contact lenses have started appearing in the market. Exclusively available in Europe, Sensimid trigger fish contacts have non-transparent electronics which introduces discomfort to patients and the whole setup becomes cumbersome to wear. In comparison, Salvatore et al.'s contact lenses promise ultra-flexibility, transparency, conformability, and convenience for detecting risk to and monitoring glaucoma disease through lenses with sensors which can detect curvature changes on the eyes and translate it to eye pressure readings. The team does not have a specific patent application online, but similar patents exist like two similar granted patents way back to 2000 from Cleveland Clinic Foundation using microelectromechanical sensors. Other smart lens patents use contact electrodes and induction coils. Beyond Salvatore et al., innovation of smart contact lenses ceased to stop with many applications and improvements over time. Examples include Google vying for a contact lens which can monitor glucose levels of patients through their tears, and companies Samsung and Sony patenting for photo capturing contact lenses. Other sensors besides the strain sensor are indeed worth studying for biomarker presences in our eyes fluids. Also, solutions to the problem of providing energy to these ocular devices wirelessly are being explored as of now. The current studies on supercapacitors are worth noting. And lastly, the materials for fabricating these polymeric electronic devices can be explored, like the use of biodegradable, biocompatible, low-cost, and readily available polymers such as cellulose hydrogels or electrically conducting polymers for electronic components. With easy transfer and adhesion of flexible and thin electronics on any surface, we can expect other various applications besides smart contact lenses, such as ultralight solar cells, other implantable devices, say a thin film pacemaker, electronic textiles, and smart skin devices containing sensor arrays made through a wafer scale method.